Hello everyone. In this video, I would like to introduce you the UN Comtrade website. The website which can provide you a massive information on export and import of almost all commodities of the world by country and by region, and by yearly or by month monthly. So this is a free website. The researcher who would like to conduct some research on export and import and the partner uh, in a, of a specific country or specific region in a specific year or a time series year, I mean, a series of years, this website is very useful for them. So let's see what is the website. Uh, simply in a Google search, uh, if you write even Comtrade, uh, that is the website will come automatically. Uh, let, let us write in UN Comtrade. I'm writing here UN Comtrade. So this is the command from Kim, the website. And you can see from here that uh, the option is, this is the most of this, that this is the website, uh, UN Comtrade website, from where you can download bulk of data set uh, on export and import of a of almost any commodity in the world that which is export or which are import by some countries, which are exported by some countries. So let's say we are interested to see monthly data, monthly data of exports of, let's say, wheat. Wheat. Uh, wheat and muslin, that is, HS code is 1001 from Let's say Australia is one of the major exporting countries of wheat in the world. Or let's say Australia to the world, all, all. And then in the year, so year we can say, because monthly, then you can say, okay, all of 2023, probably this latest data is not available. Let's say we can write all of, okay, uh, 2023. Let's see how it comes. Then let's click on preview. Yeah, there is no data set, uh, but uh, let's modify our search by, let's say, all of um, 2016. And let's see the, so our source items are the export, monthly export of wheat by Australia in 2016, in 12 months, in 2016, the whole, whole partners, anyone imported from Australia should be reported here. So you see this one, the world. So any country is reported is aggregated information for Australia. And then you can see the, this is the period. So 2016 month January, 2016 month February, uh, reported is Australia, partner is world. You can also get by the country level, I'll show you that one, but let's explain this first. This is the total trade value, how much was the value of exported wheat in that particular month. That is, and there's a weight. How many kilogram of those wheat? So it's 12 months, you can get this information. Now, let's say we would like to see in 2016, how many countries imported uh, from Australia. So we just need to modify like this, all. And let's see again, uh, click on the preview, you can see now, Previously, it was a granular level at the world level. Any country imported from Australia, they added together and they reported that Australia exported in January 2016 this much of wheat to the global. And now we want to see which country actually imported in which month. So this is the case. You can say the, to the world, the total altogether export of wheat by Australia was this much kilogram, this many kilogram. And the value was this, of which Bangladesh imported this much, then Solomon Island, then Myanmar, then Cambodia. So in this way, you can get monthly country level export information or import information, whatever you like. And here you can see only 25 rows, but I can uh, change my preference. I can say, okay, no, I want to see the all, all, I mean, whatever is reported, let's say 500, if it is 500, I can see all of them. So in 2016, December, EMN imported wheat from Australia, which is value was this much, and in kilogram, this many kilogram of wheat. 
this data you can simply copy this and paste in Excel and it can work uh, in time series data. So this is one of the major sources of trade statistics and it is free. So thank you very much for giving me a patient hearing.